Hey guys, it's Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist. In this video, I'll be covering using milk thistle for liver health and specifically using it for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is a concern for a lot of people nowadays. So I want to hop right into it. Now, first of all, when we talk about milk thistle, we're really talking about silymarin, which is kind of the active ingredient, and it makes up roughly 70 to 80 percent of the milk thistle content that you might be taking in a supplement. Now, normally your liver contains very little fat. Uh, if you were to cut into a, like a grass-fed cow liver, you're going to see very little fat. Where fat becomes problematic is when we start hitting that 5 to 10 percent of the total uh, content of the liver starts becoming fatty tissue, we have issues. That's where we start to see some of these problems. Now, there are some studies, some of them, uh, some of the ones I'll be referencing are animal studies. So I want to point that out right off the bat that those are not the ideal studies. Obviously, you know, you and I are not hamsters or mice, but it's what we have to go off of. Okay. So first of all, we know that when they give milk thistle in these studies, there's a number of things they see, one of which is a decrease in de novo lipogenesis. Now, de novo lipogenesis is basically taking um, some of these products that are produced and converting them to basically free fatty acids and then converting them to triglycerides. Obviously, we don't want this to occur in the liver. We don't want that fat in the liver. Milk thistle has been shown to decrease that. So that's a good thing. The other thing we see is a decrease in steatitosis or that fatty liver. We also see an improvement in insulin resistance. And we know there's a relationship between diabetes and the fatty liver as well as obesity and fatty liver. And we know insulin resistance plays a role in both, both of those things. We also see a decrease in liver inflammation. I'll go into a little more depth in the next point okay so speaking of which nad becomes very important nad is basically a compound that's involved in a lot of processes in our body a lot of enzymatic processes a lot of energy production so what it can do what we found the thistle can do is it can restore those nad plus uh, levels for example as people age they get older their natural um, stores of NAD plus begin to go down. And so we see these NAD levels go up. We can see the AMP, AMPK pathway, sorry, tongue twister, uh, improve. And what we see is it helps prevent or helps offset some of the oxidative damage that we can see. So with less NAD plus, we can see more lipid buildup. We can see, again, decreased insulin sensitivity and increased inflammation. Now, we know that milk thistle can increase the NAD levels, so we're going to see some of these things improve. We also know in these studies that high-fat diets can make this whole situation worse. Now, if you wa watch um, some of these videos online, they, they really are pushing some of the high-fat diets to deal with these things, and that's not what the evidence is showing. Um, and I'll get into that maybe in some other videos. I don't want to get too sidetracked. But the bottom line is milk thistle appears to do a lot of helpful things for the liver. Now, what about dosing? Dosing, there is no dosing recommendation because of the limited amount of studies and, and there's just not a lot of concrete recommendations out there. However, um, if we're going off milk this, we're looking at five to 700 milligrams, maybe up to three times a day. I would definitely start at the lower end of that, see how you do, maybe move up from there. Again, that's the milk thistle, not the silymer, and that would be a lower amount, maybe two to 300 milligrams three times a day. The other thing to keep in mind with milk thistle, it's not without its own set of issues, one of which is it can interact with prescription drugs. It can also interact with other supplements. So if you do this, you're going to want to call your pharmacy, have them run an interaction check. It's not a big deal for them to do. They do it all the time. Definitely check on that because there are some interactions. So let me know, guys, have you tried milk thistle? Let me know in the comments. Uh, it's really helpful for me. It's very helpful for people that watch the video. And I, I really like to get your guys' feedback on 
on people who have done this in the real world and their experience with it um, as far as helping with the liver, side effects, those sorts of things. So let me know in the comments. Hope the video was helpful, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.